What's going on guys? Today's gonna be a pretty quick video showing you several different ways that you can pair up dress shoes with three different types of washes of denim. Stick around because it's all coming right up. All right, welcome back to my channel. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So wearing dress shoes with jeans can be a really great way to dress up a little bit while still showing your casual cool side. Denim, as we all know, is fairly casual, but there's a lot of different ways to dress up denim for an elevated look without being too dressed up. So let's get into it. All right, first let's chat about the denim. In my opinion, darker denim is really the best choice for dressing up. And I've talked about this in some other videos, but the lighter the jeans are, the harder they are to dress up, right? The lighter the wash, the more casual the jeans are. And of course, the more distressing the jeans have, the more casual they are, right? I kind of compare it to sweatpants. And here's what I mean by that. Imagine a scale that goes from sweatpants all the way up to dark denim. Now, we're probably not gonna wear a nice pair of dress Oxfords with a pair of sweatpants. So because it's a lot harder to dress up something that casual like sweatpants, the question then becomes, at what point along that scale can you start wearing dress shoes with jeans? Okay, in terms of blue jeans, consider that the lighter the color is, the closer to sweatpants they are on that scale. And the same thing goes for distressing, right? The more rips and whiskering, the more casual they are. And as we move up that scale towards darker blue, the dressier we get, and then of course, the more appropriate we get in terms of our ability to dress them up. Okay, now let's talk about the shoes for a minute. There is such a thing as a casual dress shoe, so let me elaborate on that. The more designs and broguing that the shoe has, the more casual it is. So here's an example. All of these little holes are what's called broguing, and some might simply call this pair of shoes brown brogues, or this pair brown wingtip brogues, but the overall message that I'm trying to send is that the more medallions and wingtips that the shoe has, the more casual it is, and that makes it perfect to wear with jeans. Another thing that I would like to clarify really quick is the difference between an Oxford and a Derby or a Blucher as some call it. So the Oxford uses closed laces, right? Where the Derby uses open laces, meaning that this extra piece of leather right here that's sewn on with the lace holes in it is open and allows you to stick your finger up through here like this. So generally speaking, the Oxford will always be a more formal shoe than the Derby simply because of that design. Okay, next, I would personally avoid wearing black dress shoes with jeans, period. Now, this isn't necessarily a hard fast rule, but black dress shoes just always have a look that's just way more formal than brown, even in the exact same shoe model. And because they appear dressier and more formal, in my opinion, they just don't go that well with jeans because the whole thing just sort of looks off and a little out of place. I just think it's a little too much for jeans and since there's really so many other options in brown and burgundy that you can go with, there's just no need to wear black. All right, gentlemen, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that lookbook now, but if you enjoyed this video, or even if you don't, please let me know by tapping either the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, because honestly, that helps me know what types of videos you do like so that I can make more of those types of videos for you. Thank you very much for watching.